Thai cannabis supporters plan a legal challenge of policy, you guys, with a U-turn and hundreds of cannabis entrepreneurs and farmers and activists rallied in Bangkok and threatened legal action against the Thai government as it pushes ahead with a plan to reclassify marijuana as a narcotic just two years after decriminalizing it. At Tuesday's rally in front of the United Nations regional headquarters uh, in the Thai capital, nearly 2,000 signatures were collected in support of, of a legal petition to stall the government's move. Cannabis advocates held uh, posters with messages like, Stop villainizing cannabis! The petition would be filed with an administrative court against Prime Minister Sharitha Tavistan, said uh, Jarawat Tiafrom, a cannabis business owner who collected the signatures. The forms required petitioners to specify any financial loss they would suffer if the government goes ahead with the U-turn. If the government backed down, we wouldn't need to file this petition, but we want to have this as an as as an ammunition, Jarawat said said a complete recriminalization ordered by us uh, Saritha earlier this month has thrown the local cannabis industry into fresh uncertainties Saritha said Thailand would put cannabis back into the list of category five narcotics which would make it a crime to produce sell import export or possess the plant and use it after the Southeast Asian nation became the first in Asia to decriminalize the plant back in 2022 you guys well it sounds like like all these activists are getting all up in arms up in Thailand and they're trying to protest. But what they got to realize is that they have a king and they better fall in line or else they're going to get fallen into a line. But nonetheless, I'm going to digress and see what y'all have to say about all of this. And this is Jason Beck for the High at Nine News. What do y'all think? Well, it's going to be some shit going down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. As soon as any any of the politics change there, it's going to change back, and then it's going to change back, and then it's going to change mm -hmm. back. Seems to be what they're doing, you know, on yeah. a regular. Exactly. You know? I mean, they, these these guys flip flop more than Rico does. Oh, you know, you know, you know the, e the easiest. And I had something for that, Jason. Uh -huh. I had something for you today. What's that? On that. What's oh, that? there you go. Uh huh. Slides, baby. Actual slides. Flip -flop. Flip -flop oh, over boy. Here, baby. oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Only slides. I bet. But um, <laughs> it is uh, the 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 quickest way to make a stoner angry is to take his weed away, and you're about to see a bunch of angry stoners on the streets clashing with police. That's my prediction. In Thailand, it's not gonna be pretty. Mm hmm. Exactly. It's not going to be pretty. Thailand is going to, I mean, but they're allowing for the medical. And so it's just along with the Buddhist monks, along with the Buddhist monks. Yes, that's right. That is right. That man, they're going to one of the most decadent places on earth, but no weed, no weed. I mean, well, <laughs> well it's, it's not medical. that there's they're, they're, they're no weed. There's they're lots of weed. They're allowing. There's medical. lots of weed in Thailand. When we honeymooned in Southeast Asia almost 20 years ago at a six star resort, I didn't even know it went to six stars. I looked behind all the little thatched bungalows in paradise and I saw hydroponic systems, not very cleverly camouflaged in the jungle and i was like oh what's that for <laughs> there's mm -hmm. weed all over thailand it's just a question of whether we want to disconnect the enforcement mechanism so that <laughs> these poor people can enjoy it without having to worry about it i mean when we talk about the side effects of cannabis and they talk about paranoia i, I think if it was legal you might get a very different side effect profile from people. Mm -hmm. And this flip-flopping is, is terrible. It's like once the – first of all, the genie was never in the bottle, and then you legalize it, and then you want a pendulum swing back. Um, terrible for investment, terrible for entrepreneurs, terrible on the world stage. Make a decision and stick with it. Make modest modifications to policy. Um, but to your point, Jason, it is not a democracy over there. That's for no, sure. it's not. It's not a democracy. And a lot of people want to think that it is. But no, it's a dictatorship. And whoever is making the rules is going to make the rules and people just need to fall in line or they're going to get put in line. And maybe it's going to be a firing squad line. You get down or lay down and you lay That's down, right. stay down or move to the weed. <laughs> you know, you know yes. what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Yep, 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 yep. Oh, man. Like, like, 
Prayer, prayers for Thailand. Prayers for Thailand, man. But, I mean, they're going to be medical, though. They're still going to be medical. But, but If only they had a social equity program, that would fix everything. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they should call Minnesota. How would they how, how, how would they qualify everybody for that? We should call fast. Well, it's everybody's qualified, right? So, I mean, that's that, that's why it's, it's in, socialist. It's in Minnesota rules. Mm -hmm. yeah. Fair enough.